You know, a lot of times when we think about planning our taxi routes at airports, we, we think just about what we're going to get as a clearance. But it really needs to go beyond that because we have to be familiar with that airport as well and be ready to accept a clearance from a tower or even at a non-towered airport, be familiar with where normal traffic flows are going to go at that airport. One of the first things you want to do is you want to listen to the ATIS or AWOS or ASOS. You can determine the wind direction relative to the potential runway in use. You want to listen to previous ATC clearances on the frequency given to other aircraft as well. You want to also observe aircraft currently landing or taking off. You want to make sure you get a feel for what runway you'll be going to. From that information, I can look at the airport diagram, which is a key, I think, in uh, taxi planning. The airport diagram, I'm here. This is the runway we'll be using, so I'll probably be taxiing out this taxiway down. I may have to cross this runway. Um, at non-towered airports, it may simply be a matter of talking to the local FBO and learning what regular taxi routes are that people use at the airport. Learning those local procedures can help you flow a little bit better with the traffic. Now what I'm looking for are uh, airport geometry problems, if there's, there are wide taxiways, if the runways are spaced closely together, if there are any hot spots. Um, but it may even come down to something such as construction at the airport. Good key to know whether you should be looking at that is to pick up NOTAMs prior to even going out to the airport. With all that information, I have a pretty good idea of uh, how I'm going to get to where I'm supposed to be going.